I'm Leon Thomas, and you're here for the Referral Source. Referral Source starts right now. It's time to grow your business and help others grow theirs. Welcome to the Referral Source. Welcome to the Referral Source. I'm Leon Thomas, joined by co-host John Waller. John, how you doing? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before you even answer that question, now, John, how are you, man? Unbelievable now, LT. Happy uh, Turkey Day weekend to you. And yes, happy, thank you. Happy Cyber Monday. Yes, indeed. It is Cyber Monday, and we're here in Cyber World on Cyber Monday for another episode of the referral source now, the question i ask every show are these sunglasses or shades shades babe shades these are shades these yeah. are shades all right i got shades we're here to talk about referrals referring folks to your business helping others improve their business that's why we're here at the referral source that's the purpose of the show John, one more, just kind of a soft question before we bring on our first uh -huh. guest. Yeah. What did you eat too much of on Turkey Day? Nada. I had, uh -huh. I had a seven o'clock in the morning. I was up for Turkey Trot. I did a 3.1 race. And thanks to Mike's real time, I had no knee issues, which I woke up with. And it took care of my knee issues. Got it done and uh, 15,000 steps on Turkey Day. So no problem. Right on. Right on. Now you're supposed to ask me what I ate too much of. Go well, ahead. I was going to say, what, what did you do that was really special? Did you play racquetball on Turkey Day? Well, I did not play racquetball on Turkey Day. And John knows I play racquetball and run a youth racquetball program. Go to racquetballrevival.com to learn more about that. But I what did, did you not. Eat too much of? I did not. However, we celebrated Thanksgiving on Saturday. That's when both of my sons could be here. We celebrated on Saturday, and I ate too much of May's Mac. That would be Maceria's Macaroni and Cheese. My wife, her mac and cheese, it's the best in the world. If you don't believe me, just ask me, and I'll tell you. It is. Okay. It is. So enough about that. John, who's our first guest on today? Up first, we have Rebecca from Fundaxi. Let's bring her on. Hey, Rebecca, how you doing? Nice. Great look with the shades there, Rebecca. Awesome. <laughs> looking looking awesome there. Rebecca, why should every business person in the Albuquerque area be at Cello's at 8 o'clock on Wednesday morning? They need to be at Cello Grill at 8 o'clock this Wednesday morning for our Albuquerque Crimson Community Networking Group. What we do there is we're bringing together our top industry-led businesses. They're coming together to do network referrals with one another. And ours has a bit of a twist to it, though. So we have networking chapters, but ours is networking with the philanthropic twist. So I as our it. business angels, is what we call them, do business with one another and they get business, they make a donation in each other's name to one of our community groups that we currently work with. That is so sweet. That, that started about 10 years ago and it just, it makes so much sense. It's just, I can see everybody that doesn't know about it getting involved with it and it just blossoming like crazy. And I just, especially this time of year, November, December, people want to give, give back and people's businesses are listed on the website with how much money their donation is. It's just, it's a beautiful concept. And I know that Haas started it because people were kind of unsure about where the money was going when they did donations and stuff. And I, I love what you guys do. I, I'm so happy to be part of it. 
Thank you. Yeah. So in addition to our business angels, we also do the dine to donate concept. We work with over 300 nonprofits, schools and sports teams across the state of New Mexico, and they can use our restaurants for dine to donate fundraisers. But then just like you, John, like a business angel, if they hire you with the on hold experience for their business, then you would make a donation in their name to one of our groups, which is so amazing, especially right now during the holidays. We have two Giving Tuesday fundraisers set up for tomorrow, one at Cello Grill, and another one is at our Pizza Nine in Gallup, actually. So awesome. And you guys are you guys are New Mexico wide, you're statewide, and you told me you're even international and you've got restaurants in Sweden, right? We do. We have one operating Pizza Nine out in Sweden that's doing the Dine to Donate concept with organizations out there. And they're actually getting ready to launch a second restaurant. And we will actually be going out there later on in 2023 to train them to start one of their very own business angel networking groups in Sweden. Oh, cool. Are you going? I'm going. I'm there. <laughs> that's awesome. That is so cool. Leon, you got any questions for Rebecca? Yeah, how Rebecca, how did you meet John? Let's talk about referrals and connections and all that. How'd you meet John? It's all about networking. Um, John was in referrals with one of our contractors. She told him about Fundaxi. He came to one of our networking meetings. And I would say, John, after the first time you came, I think you joined that same day, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, nothing but net signed up right away yeah it's it's really it's really an awesome organization you've got networking and fundraising all combined together yeah yeah and now there's so much the power of networking and quality connections now do you have to be in new mexico for you to, to work with a business no not at all we're actually branching out so we have a lady out in washington right now that i'm training so she'll be starting with us we're going to be branching out into colorado and if you're interested in it, Leon, let me know. We can get one started where you are, too. I mean, are you saying that I might want to get it started for the racquetball program? Is I that mean, what you're saying? Could. We can start your if own. You're smart. I mean, why not have your footprint, put your, pla your flag in Washington, put your flag in the Maryland, house in Maryland area, and just why not put that flag all, all right. over the place? Now we'll we'll talk. Now, Rebecca, there's gonna be folks that wanna get in touch with you. Okay. How do they do that? They can email me at Rebecca, that's R-E-B-E-C-C-A at F U N D A X I dot com. So Rebecca at Fundaxi.com. They can also call our office and speak with the team member. That phone number is 505-217-1970. We are located in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but our goal is to go nationwide. So if you guys are interested in becoming part of that platform and expansion, please feel free to reach out. Awesome. All right. Great. Can I just tell you one Albuquerque story real quick? Yes, I want to know it. When I used to travel a lot, I would base the travels around if I knew a restaurant there, if I had a favorite restaurant in that city, right? And I came to Albuquerque to do a project on a hotel only because nobody else wanted to go to Albuquerque. I'm like, I'll take it. I mean, it's like, why? I'm like, shh, I'm not telling you why. And it was because of a restaurant called Papa Do's. Okay. Yep. Papa Do's. I ate lunch and dinner at Papa Do's for two consecutive weeks. <laughs> Clearly <laughs> way <laughs> over the per diem, but I didn't care. Oh, oh mwah, it was great stuff. John, you talk about eating too much. It was frog legs. Cool. And they're delicious. They're so oh. good. We go there for our corporate party every holiday. Yeah, so. That's good stuff. Thank you, Rebecca. Well, I'm glad you're good to you. Please let me know, and I will take you to some of my favorite New Mexican restaurants. All right. Right He's on. Thank you. And Joe's <laughs> Grill. Those Enjoy are two it. of them, but we need to get him some red and green chili as well. Right. Uh, Christmas style. That's they Thank call you. that red and green is Christmas. Yeah. Enjoyed meeting you, Rebecca. Thank you. Thanks, Beck. I'll see you Wednesday morning. John, who do we have next? Who's coming up next? Who are we going to talk to next we here on James the referral with tour? Marketing Mike out of Florida. Hey James, how you doing? Hey guys, how's it going? I'm good. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh no, you're you're taking yours off. I'm putting mine on. We keep John happy for at least, you know. 
the first introductory part here. Okay, yeah. now we can take them off. All right. So James, tell me, man, what do you what do you do? Uh, so what I do is I help people set up uh, software and systems for their business. You know, people struggle to set up automation, set up technology, set up um, you know different lead intakes for their business, and I I help you do that. But it's it's no code needed, so it's affordable for for any small business. Uh -huh. right I'm backing out. You guys go ahead. Leon James is a genius. He's he's only 26, and he developed this all on his own and it's it's an incredible system to get folks using questions and getting folks in, interested in what you do in your business give it give us an example of that james yeah i mean so for you know any you know any solopreneur right let's say you go to a lot of networking events as i'm sure a lot of your listeners do you know you're meeting a lot of people so you can give people your calendar and then um actually john since we last spoke i've created a, quite a bit of other little products within where now you get texted a note taking form where you can actually copy and paste someone's phone number, take notes on them. And let's say maybe they want to see your sales deck, but you just click the sales deck button and it sends them automatically an email with all of the sales deck information. Um, awesome. Or for example, um, the QR code thing, you know, that's really big, right? Scanning the QR code, downloading your contact. Well, I just created a new one that I'm, I'm literally launching in about a week or two from now where you can get the QR code, someone can scan it, and they then they have to put their information in first. So now you acquire their information right. all while they acquire yours, and we can send an automated text to them as well. So I just need to send you my QR code for my digital business card, and we're good to go. Exactly. And I'm actually going to – you're on the list of people who's getting a, a, a free QR code because you've been a, you've been a marketing-made uh, client. So you get what you get a free one included. Cool. Um, okay. So you'll be able to put that on your all your Zoom links. And then people can go into your marketing made profile from there. So it'll be right next to my John .com on a Zoomer. Yep. Yep. So on your, it's your background, you would just add the QR right. code and you can say, just scan this. They put their information in and then their information goes on to your marketing mate and then you get, and then they get your information. That's huge. Like Pat, the queen of the East coast who's coming on next. I mean, she's got three different businesses that she does. and This would be perfect for her. Yeah, and, and actually, I'm taking it one step further where you know those tap cards where you can tap it against the back of your phone. Have you seen those? Yeah. So now it'll be the same thing. You get a tap card. So if you're in person, you can tap it to someone's phone, and then it can do the exact same exchange. That's beautiful. That's so cool. How do people get a hold of you, James? Uh, just at james at marketingmate.com. And then my phone number is 878-888-6283. Oh, James, let me ask you something. What's this tap thing you're talking about? Hit me with that. What, I said tap, but hit me. What, what, tell me about so, that. You have a business card, right? You would have any other normal business card. What do you currently do? You give someone your business card. You hope that they text you or email you because you've given them your contact. But now... You take your new card that I give you, you literally tap it against someone's phone. It will then populate a form in which they put their name, number, and email in, click submit, and then click another button that then auto saves your contact info into their phone. And wow. then we send them a thank you text message saying, hey, it was great to meet you, John. Um, here's my calendar link to schedule a meeting. Ah, got it. Got Does that it. utilize the, the NFC card. on the phone, James? Sorry? Does that utilize the NFC on the phone? Correct. Exactly. That's exactly what it does. Right on. Cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. Thank you, James. Yeah, thank you, guys. Good stuff. Good so, stuff. James, do you have a trial for somebody that's interested in getting started with you on, on that system? Is yeah, so I'm actually going to launch um, just the QR code at like nineteen ninety five a month. So okay. anyone can get access to the QR code. You get access to the QR code, a phone number, and the ability to text people. So very basic, but you have a now integrated system for you to intake leads from the QR code. Does that work with the CRM at all? Yeah, it'll integrate into your marketing made profile. Yes. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Very, very cool stuff. All right. Thanks, Thanks for you, being man. on today. And, uh, Let's take a short break. Let's go to Coach Mike, Leon. Let's bring in Coach Mike. Coach Mike. 
How you doing, Coach Mike? Mike? How are you? There you go. Get her done. Awesome. Rub it on. The pain is gone. Yeah. Hi, guys. I just wanted to uh, share a little bit more about the ingredients that are in the product. As I mentioned, we we call ourselves an ingredient-based therapy. So it's made up of a lot of nature's ingredients. The key fact is that a lot of nature's ingredients just from nature have anti-inflammatory properties. If you can reduce inflammation and reduce swelling, you're going to reduce pain. So that's basically the combination. Our product set has different combinations of ingredients. <clears throat> Everything from aloe vera. Obviously, we always include menthol, but we got uh, peppermint oil, wasabi extract, turmeric. We got a bunch of different things in different product sets. The key is for people to get a hold of me, share with me what it is that's causing you a problem. Once you do that, I can make a determination of the multiple products that we have, what would be the best for you in your situation. So call Mike, me, call sort me of setting up a flare, how do people get a hold of you? 925-323-1093. 925-323-1093. Or we could go if they, if they want to make an appointment automatic, ask Mike Martin dot appointment dot com. That's my calendar appointment setting uh, function. Okay. Very cool. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for being on today. Thanks to the great products with the IBT ingredient based therapy. Awesome. Thank you. Rub it on. The pain is gone. All right. Right on. Thank you, Coach Mike. All right. So Time for our break. John, you you know you know like people all over the place. This is amazing. You just know people. We had a dentist from Australia on a couple weeks I, ago. You just got, you have people from everywhere. Wow, you and are. After the break, we're going to have Eric from a computer, our computer guy, and he's from Connecticut. And then we're going to have the Queen of the East Coast. So let's take our break, and we'll come back to Eric, and we'll get to the Queen of the East Coast. Pat. Here we go. You're watching The Referral Source with John Waller. The Referral Source can help you grow your business by exposing you to people that can send business your way. Many business owners try to get it done by themselves. Email campaigns, social media posts, and old-fashioned cold calls might work, but there's nothing like a referral. By being a guest on The Referral Source, you're exposing yourself to John's wide nest of contacts. And by watching the referral source, you will see a featured business and think about who you could refer to that business. The referral source is a win-win all around. If you would like to feature your business on the referral source by advertising or being a guest on the show, contact John Waller via email at theonholdguy at gmail.com. You can watch the referral source live each Monday at 3.30 Eastern on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. You'll also see replays during the week. And now, back to more of the referral source. All right, right on, John. You had a good show, good show going. Everyone just found out what they need to do to get on the referral source right. right here talking to john talking to me having a groovy time talking about your business and getting some referrals john what's what's next today as i go back to the shades because i know we're bringing somebody else on i gotta get those shades back there on Who's next? well the most important device in your office maybe in your vehicle maybe on a plane is your magical box your computer and if you don't have eric taking care of your six just like hawaii 5 takes care of the bad guys you need to have eric from castle computer helping you with your computer so that no malware gets into it and you have no no problems if your computer goes down you're out of business here's eric to tell us how not to have that happen Hey, Eric, how you doing? 
All right. How are you? Doing well. Doing nice shades, Eric. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> doing well. I loved what you said on LinkedIn today. That was really cool about uh, just having your six and making sure that you take care of all that bad stuff they can get into your computer. Yep. The hackers, they don't, they don't stop trying to attack. They're not going to stop trying to steal your information or get into your computer. And, you know, it was, it was a holiday weekend, but not, not for them. They don't stop. They, I had three clients call me who, who uh, they didn't really call me. I called them. I was notified that there's some kind of breach or potential problem with their system. We stopped it. We neutralized it before it happened and took care of the computers for them. Yeah. So you yeah, have Eric. a little thing that shows up on your phone that says 505050 when somebody's got an issue? Pretty much. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I love now, it. Eric, I got to think during Cyber Monday and all this right. shopping that's going on holiday season, that that's prime opportunity for hackers. It is. This is this is the prime season for hackers. And they're going to send out fake phishing emails that they want you to mm -hmm. click a link so that you enter in your passwords to a certain website and yeah. so they have your information. Don't click any links in emails. You get an email with a link in it, don't click it. Better yet, go to the website, log in. If it's if it's a message, you'll get that same message in the message center for, for whatever website you log into. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. So then, so you're saying I should, I'm better off just going to the store, buying it, paying cash. That's even better. It's even better. Okay. Yes. I mean, not that I'm going to do that because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I do a lot of online purchasing also, but, but yeah. Careful, yeah just just, just remember, Amazon's never going to text you. Your bank is never going to text you. The IRS is never going to text you. FedEx, UPS, they're never going to text you and tell you there's a problem with your account. So if you get one of those text messages, do not click it, delete it immediately. If you think it's legitimate, like I said before, log into the website, go to the message center or go to your account. You'll see the same information there, but never mm -hmm. click a link in a text or an email. Keep, keep, you, yes. keep your data safe. And that's one of the biggest things these days about folks going after elder abuse is stuff on the computer, text and emails. I mean, you get, you get an email from a guy in Nigeria who has $300 million and he needs 15,000 to get that money out of the bank. He's not reaching out to you and ain't it going to happen. No, not going to happen. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. I love your, your, your advice, your bank, Amazon, and there was one other you said aren't going to contact. I, IRS. Yes, you yes. Yes. And right. Nobody's going to text you and tell you there's a problem with your account. Right. You get yeah. one. Thanks, Eric. Yeah. Thank you. Right Great on. job. We'll see you next month. Thanks. See you in December. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. All righty. And now it's time for Pat, the queen of the East Coast. The Let's queen of the East Coast. Pat. Right. Pat, you got your shades on? I'm sure the she does. The queen of the East Coast. Here she is, folks, coming in now. The queen of the East Coast. From How the about it, Pat? How you doing? Hi from, the, hi from the Boogie Down Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> the boogie Down I love Bronx. It. How are you, Pat? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for having me on this great show. Mm -hmm. And happy um, holidays to you. Both. You too. So what are you surrounded by there, Pat? Uh, right now, yeah. I'm surrounded by the cold New York. Um, but, you know, John, hey, you are on screen. I see, I see oh. your DVC on screen. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I have my digital business card. That's a sample of it. Awesome. So what, how can that help the folks that are watching today? Well, you know, John, since COVID, you know, people were afraid to share their information with others. They could not transfer um, paper from one person to the other. Um, they couldn't even go out. And so subsequently, people were actually meeting on Zoom, and that really created a wonderful networking venue for people who are in business. So yes. subsequently, how do, you, how do you share your card with these people if you're on Zoom? And so... Here we are with the digital business card. And I like to say it's the digital business card that makes the difference. And why does it make a difference? Because in the beginning of the card, after your name and your photo, is your video. And we like to call it your why video. And why do we call it the why video? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people are um, not getting the bookings that they think they should deserve because okay. people see your title on your card and subsequently, they're not booking with you. 
But on the video, you can tell your why story, why it is that you're in the business, mm -hmm. what you can do for them, uh, what, what makes you different from your competitors. And I tell people when you share your video, your card each month, tell them to go to your card and watch the new video. And so subsequently, your card would not end up in the cell phone graveyard. And they will share your card with others because your, your information is so compelling. And you're updating that why, that why video. Yes, absolutely. How often do you recommend that folks do that? I say do it once a month. Okay. Do it once a month, yes. And then at the bottom of the card, there is a video library. So you could take the video from the previous month and put it in the library so people can always have that information. That's and the awesome. other thing that's nice about the card is that you never lose contact with the person. So you, once you make changes to the card, everyone you have given your card to in the past, those changes will be made immediately. They update? So you never lose contact. Uh -huh. It updates immediately in everyone's contact. That's huge. So how that do folks get a hold of you? What's the best oh, way to do that? Well, the, I'm glad you asked. They can either call me at 914 Four four seven one zero eight nine. Or they can go to my card directly because my card has a URL, which is tricia dot talkingvcard dot net. So that's your that's like a website to get your card. So there's that's my the URL. The box, you can type that in their address bar, and bam, it shows up. Absolutely. So you don't have to worry about having another app on your phone. It's right there. And I tell you, John. One of the things I tell people to do, everywhere where it's required for you to enter your website address, like on social media or Google My Business, instead of That's doing that, just card. put your URL for your card and people can get your card right away. Yeah. And, right, and not just like in the U.S., but it, let's say if they're in Hong Kong, okay, they're going to have it in a matter of seconds. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. When I was yeah. with BNI in 2013. Um, I did a one-to-one a -one with somebody in Hong Kong out of a BNI chapter on Skype because I wanted to see if you could do it. And it was easy to do. And you can throw your business card right out there online. Absolutely. Great idea. And, and everything on your business card is, is um is what you would have like on your website, your calendar is there, um, all your social media links. You could put as much or as little on the card as you like. And if a person who really doesn't want to um, type out a message, they can actually leave you a voice message right from your card. Right. Yeah. Cool stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Like it. Like it. You know Great what tip. I really like? You talked about that you could put the video on there, but you can change it. Absolutely. Right? And your, your clients or potential clients could would be able to see that. That's pretty, pretty well, cool. Well, you being stuff. a travel agent, you could change that. Like, you've got specials on different cruises. Like let's say celebrities got something, you know, a different, you know, special on a cruise or, you know, man overboard special coming up. I'm sorry. Did, did you say we get a free cruise? Is that what you said, John? <laughs> I heard that. No, I'm talking about special. I heard we're cruising yeah. for free. No, no, no. That's a no? different website. Cruises for free. I don't know what the website is for that, but that's not here today. No. <laughs> I, I will say to, um, on that note, John, that if a person who is a travel agent and they have a flyer for, like, say, for China. They can put that photo in the photo gallery on the card and mm. then put the URL, which will hyperlink it to that page. So many reasons why people in business need to have a DBC, a digital business card. Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. Absolutely. Yeah. Great. I like it. Great tips, Pat. Great, great knowledge. Thanks for sharing that today. Thank you. Any other tips for us today? Oh, the, the other thing is, like for an Avon rep, okay. What about having those those catalogs and keep changing? Oh yeah, for all, all Avon reps, representatives, or people who are authors and, and creating their own books, they can right. certainly put that QR code on on their products, as right. well as if you're wearing a T-shirt. I when I go out networking you know, in in um in the flesh, I should say, yeah. um, I have a button which I wear. And on my button is just my QR code. Cool. Good idea. And do you have that on your shirt or just on the button? On a button. Now, so you wear that on the, you wear that when you're traveling, like let's say you go, 
the Kennedy International or Miami International, you wear that at the airport so people see that, right? Every time I leave my house, I wear my button. There you go. Cool. Right on. Excellent. I like it. Thanks for being with us today, Pat. Great information. Thank you for having me. This is Thank fun. Absolutely. Thanks Good. for being here. Thank you. You have a you have a great rest in November. We'll see you uh we'll see you in December. Thanks for being on the show. John, some cool people today. Cool information, mm -hmm. cool Peter organizations does. and all, man. Yep. That's what it's all about. Good That's stuff. That's why we are the referral source, Leon. The referral source right here with John Waller. And John, again, if someone wants to be on the referral source, they can get in touch with you. How? How do they how do they do that? They can just send me an email to the on hold guy at gmail.com or drop a dime 208-546-8330. Give me a call. All right, all right. Did you say drop a dime? Drop a dime. That comes from back in the day when we had pay phones that we would drive up to. You got to put a dime in the in the pay phone so you can right. make your call. It was a car phone was a pay phone sitting outside the window of your vehicle. That yeah, was yeah. a car phone. Right. I'm with you. I'm with you. I had one of the racquetball kids with me a couple weeks ago, and there was we actually saw a convenience store, and outside of it was a pay phone. Did it work? Well, it did. It had a dial tone. Wow. But now here's the thing. I said, I took out like my debit card and I said, how do I make a call? And he yeah. goes, I don't know what to tell you. Put a dollar bill in it. And I'm like, no, 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 son. It don't work that way. And so I, we had to give him a phone lesson and all of that stuff. Yeah. And he said, coach, why do I have to know this stuff? This is the first pay phone I've ever seen. And I said, you're right. Let's just go play. And so, so we did. Back in the day, I sold those to businesses. You sold pay phones? Yeah. I wanted wow. to get those in front of like busy stores so that they could have traffic using that. Yeah. yeah back in the yeah. back in the early 90s. Yeah. Right on. Good stuff. All right, John. Good show today. Good show. Thanks for watching the referral source. Thanks, He's John man. Waller. I'm Leon Thomas. We'll be back in December with another episode of Referral Source. So one nine. On, when is that? On the on the one nine. On the nineteenth, yes. Happy happy holidays to everyone. We'll see you again on the one nine. Right. Of do we say the one nine of twelve or December? Twelve nineteen twenty two. Twelve nineteen EST. Twenty two. Yes. Keep me slick and updated, John. I'm trying, mm -hmm. man. I'm trying. You got All it. Right. Everybody, it's been a good day. Thanks for watching the referrals. Oh, wait a minute. We'll put the shades on and then we'll go bye bye. See you later, folks. Take care. Later, gang. Bye bye. Thanks for watching the referral source with John Waller. The referral source airs each Monday at three thirty on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook. We'll see you next week on the referral source.